Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almon. Welcome back to another Cold War video. And I finally reached Prestige 2, so we'll be going in depth on my stats and just best ways I've been I've been doing to level up and at the moment there is double XP and double weapon XP and I finally needed that because what I'm probably gonna do within these couple of days I'm gonna max out all my weapons um, and I'll just do the camel challenges later it's because I feel like if I have all the weapons maxed out then I can just slowly work on the challenges and that's gonna be my ideal because if not it's gonna be a slow rate from later on so right now I just been working on just doing all that type of stuff so if you do enjoy this type of content be sure to leave a like on this video be sure to subscribe remember that 90% of you guys that watch me on a daily basis are not subscribed so if you guys can do me a huge favor subscribe it's free you guys can always unsubscribe later and let's get into today's video so let me quickly go over my last match just did it in zombies um if you guys don't know i usually play zombies for xp and stuff like that just how I, how i did for modern warfare i did co-op for xp in this game i'm doing zombies so if we quickly go over my last action report you guys can see my score is you know 145k um eliminations i have 1444 because um i usually stop when it, when it gets around 30 because i that's when you get capped um and i just try to run um an exfil around that time so if i don't do the exfil you know it is what it is it's not a big issue but that's usually when i stop because from there just the zombies get too much health and even if i have a three pack rocket launcher or something like that it's not gonna do as much damage so that's why i just roughly stop around round 30. um if you guys check my rewards i can this is one match of zombies up to round 30. if you look at my milano it got all the way to weapon level nine which is really good my sigma got maxed out so i just been doing camels on that like you can see all these camels i unlocked which is really good and i'm trying to get um uh, pink diamond on that so that I can get that and then I finished all my battle hardened challenges so I can get more XP um, we'll quickly go over that as well uh, when it comes to class setups for like just zombies um, as you guys can see my knife is gold at the moment I'll probably have more of an in-depth video talking about my knife and stuff like that uh, then I have I'm working on the rocking or not the rocking the China Lake at the moment um, if I quickly go to the gunsmith then you guys can see my levels on stuff like I have not leveled up much of these guns but right now i have uh, my sigma 2 maxed out so i gotta do the challenges on those later my shotguns i have both of them maxed out um the howard i have um all the camels done for it but or not the howard the uh, gallo sa i have the camels done for that one but i just have to work on the howard for the gold camos and then i'll have both these diamond uh when it comes to uh the knife, knife's already done, but that means I still have to work on the special weapon, so that's what I'm gonna be working on after I record this video. Um, launchers, I'm just gonna max out the RPG whenever I pull it out of the box because if, like, when it comes to launchers, you know, you don't want to start off with them because they're so terrible, um, it's not worth it. So I usually start off with my knife and just roll the box, whatever weapon I get, I'll start maxing out. But in this case, I have to use the M79 because it's only level 22 and I still have a long way to go. Uh, when we look at the camos, I have to go all the way to 30, so I gotta get like eight levels off this, so I just gotta get lucky. And I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get it from the box. Um, also, another thing is I see people talking about this in the community. I thought I'd just go over it real quick. So let me just quickly put over. Um, let's get rid of the let's get rid of the sniper rifle. So if you guys go to your launchers and let's say you're using the Sigma, they changed how the challenges work. So when it comes to the camos, um, I think it's one of these. I don't know which one it is. Uh, let me just quickly pop it up. All right, maybe it's on a different weapon. They changed one of the weapon challenges. Uh, let's see camos. I think it's this one. Yeah, probably this one. It's, uh, was a liquid camos they change these these not used to be 50 they change it so if you already had more than 50 um it would just show you like the bar incomplete so for me luckily they just you know since i already did it i just killed more zombies and just completed it um so that's what i just been doing at the moment so you guys will see a ton of videos just rolling out with knife i'm getting a bunch i'm definitely gonna be getting a lot of pink diamond within the next couple days uh just my grind at the moment and then hopefully i can get the ether camo as quickly as possible i know i'm really behind and that's just because you know uh, i have family stuff to do and everything like that so i'm not really stressing out as much so we'll get there and, quickly, and i'll just do my best as possible um when it comes to skill trees uh, if you guys didn't know i have everything maxed out you guys i'll quickly go over it just to show you guys it's not hard to max this out like by now i feel like a lot of people should have everything maxed out and they give you one ethereum crystal just to save uh, definitely when they do add DLC later and that's free uh, when we do get new perks they're obviously gonna limit well uh, uncap the limit of crystals that you can have so definitely I'm gonna be doing that uh, whatever perk it is whatever anything I'll definitely max that out 
so I'm just, that's what I'm just working at at the moment. I'm not really trying to go for um, multiplayer as much. Like as you can see for my career, I played a little bit more multiplayer, but just you know, I'm not really satisfied with my gameplay at the moment. Uh, but when it comes to that, I have like a little bit, three percent, three percent, nothing terrible, nothing good, no, no, no dark ops challenges completed from what I remember. Then we have zombies, which I'm at a really high percentage, fifty-six percent on the career and forty-seven on battle hardened, and then I have a lot of dark ops challenges complete. Um, I just gotta work on the three that I'm missing. I think um, three or four. If this one requires a million kills one of them requires uh to have every trial done in one match another one requires to exfil at round 10 i think it is um and only using a melee those are the only three zombies challenges left the bottom two i think these are um mama back challenges for um dead ops arcade and i'm not gonna be playing that um unless it really gets to that point but i'm really trying to aim for the dark ops challenge so i can get that done um if we look at our career boot camp is completely done grizzle veterans almost done i might get around to it just one of them was bugged i think it was not the machine report the machine report's gonna take me a while because i have to look into how to do some of these um but when it comes to battle harden uh, zombie hunter this challenge is glitched for me at the moment i would have had this done already like a long time ago but i blew up so many people with c4s but i don't think the c4 works at the moment so i think i might just have to use energy mines or sentry turns because c4 is just completely bugged for me but i would have this calling card by now um element is done this is the one i really wanted to get done um pretty simple it's just it's just you gotta get a ton of kills um tactician i'll definitely work on this um i haven't been really using my ether shroud as much i use it just to escape i don't really kill people in the ether shroud um and i don't use healing aura or self reses or anything like that, or you don't even use Ring of Fire. I just use Ether Shroud just to get out of a sticky situation because I want to get as many kills as I can with my uh, gun. So that's my strat. And then obviously I don't have these done because I'm not going to be playing uh, Dead Ops Arcade. Maybe like a litter morning, but just at the moment, I don't really care about these calling cards at the moment. Uh, but definitely I'll be trying to get the three Dark Ops challenges complete because I need a million kills and that's going to take me a while. So I have like no like. Um, idea at the moment of how long I'm going to take so we'll just see on that and I'll try to show off a video of me finishing all my dark ops challenges I know there's a ton of people uploading dark ops challenges like what they are and everything like that I'd rather post a video when I have almost all of them done or close so probably once I finish the two I need and then the one million kills is gonna take me a while I'll probably post the other ones in a later time but these are all the challenges that you guys can see at the moment I'll quickly go over them and you guys can just pause whenever just to see what some of these are uh, but yeah definitely these are the ones i've just been finishing uh now let's quickly go over to barracks as you can see a prestige 2 so how prestige works at this game once you reach prestige 1 you get set back to level 1 and then once you reach level 50 that's technically prestige 2 um, i'm kind of late to doing my prestige 2 because i literally i get so much xp just from playing zombies right now since double xp so i just haven't been able to post a video of me talking about prestige 2 and in a couple days you guys will see me reach prestige 3 because literally i leveled up like eight times within a match it's insane with zombies uh and also you do get this reward of a shotgun so it looks pretty decent um i just haven't been really rocking it and we don't know what the prestige keys do at the moment so we'll just kind of see what they do but it says season one is going to come in december this includes a uh, level reset across the board for all the games uh four new prestige levels prestige shop will be so prestige shop will be a thing and you can use it to unlock uh season calling card challenges uh so we'll see what those are or and oh no you get rewards that can be unlocked with prestige keys and there's gonna be season calling cards um and prestige master up to a thousand levels so i'm pretty sure well if they're gonna do it that way prestige master might just come in december or they're just gonna cap it every 30 times but we just have to see but right now uh prestige 2 level 79 i'll be 100 in like maybe a couple hours not too bad my combat record um i don't really care about it at the moment so i played 11 games on multiplayer i think i was just testing out some challenges um my win loss ratio is 0 0.75 uh just because i just like i said i haven't been really going for anything at the moment and i've only played an hour uh three wins four losses not bad i don't really care uh kd is just whatever at the moment my kd is decent it's just i don't really try in the game as you can see i have 31 eliminations with the grenade launcher because i was testing out levels and see feels faster in multiplayer than zombies but just at the moment i think zombies is just better um you can see like my ratios at the moment with weapons but now let's go over zombies because those are where my main stats are at the moment uh prestige 2 i have over two days played in zombies i played over 38 matches um i don't know if they count like matches that i join and leave uh, but eliminations at 59,000. I um, need to get to a million, so that's gonna take me a while. And you guys gotta think about it. 38 games took me 59 uh, 
59k uh 59k kills and some of those are just like high rounds uh not every match is a high round there's only been like a few rounds around for high rounds uh elite kills i've only killed 166 and i know that for a fact that it's not tracking all of them because at one point i did have more and just deleted some of them i don't know why uh so my average eliminations per game are like around 1500 and that's kind of true because i don't really leave a game like around round 10 or around anything i don't get down unless it's like really high rounds or i just kill myself that's the only times i really die uh, so that's why i'm not really stressing about it critical kills i have to get a lot more because a lot of the challenges require crit kills so deadshot is literally my best savior because i can just keep shooting or holding the right trigger i just spam my left trigger so that's really my strat uh my personal best is 13k in one match and i think that was one of my high rounds like around 106 i think it was and that should be somewhere on my channel so definitely go check that out and you guys can see the little ratio from multiplayer zombies. Um, zombies is literally overpowering it the entire time. And then I do use the ray gun more often enough whenever I do get the chance. That's the only reason I have 10k kills. And that was when I used it for high rounds. Um, that's about it. Uh, but other than that, I use a shotgun if I need to. And I my third weapon is a knife because I don't stress it enough. that The knife gives you the most amount of points in zombies at the moment. So that's why I rock it. Uh, leaderboards, I sh was higher at one point. Um, but I stopped playing for a couple of days. At one point, I think I was like around 8k on the leaderboards. Uh, somewhere around there. And then at one point, I got to 7k. But since I haven't been playing for a couple of days, I've been fluctuating around 30k. But I just got to keep playing rounds because this thing updates consistently since it's round based. Uh, but Dead Alt Arcade I haven't touched, but it does update consistently and you guys can see my little stats right there as well. Um, Intels or my calling cards, I just rock at the moment. Uh, the Elemental Master, that's in, that's my favorite at the moment. I'll change it up later. There's no point of rocking these because not, and not everyone's going to know what these Dark Ops challenges are. It doesn't specify what these challenges mean. And then at the moment, I'm using the Kaboom. And then some of my emblems are glitched and I haven't even received some of my emblems. Like for the Doritos, I haven't gotten my emblem for that or a calling card. It's kind of stupid how some of the stuff isn't working i just don't know what to do um and then weapon master challenge you guys can see knife master gallo knife master um and then pistol master but uh, at the moment i've been using the kaboom medals i don't know how, what they're going to show uh i don't know if there's an if there's one for round 100 there which i believe there should be but uh these are just the ones i have at the moment if you guys want to see not too bad i usually have a bunch of carnage ones because i use a grenade launcher like whatever i can so I literally get a bunch same thing as slaughter i have a bunch of those fuel upgrades um i used to use a death mine a lot or energy mine early on but that's what it ever know um and then i used to use the die a lot so you guys can do the estimate of how many kills I have. And I think that's about it. And then obviously I do have the challenger pack. Uh, just because I you know, had money. And then might as well. Also I do have. I Before they dropped double XP. I was using a lot of my double XP tokens. Um, I still have way more. I still have a ton of codes. Um, saved up. So you know I might even give out some codes. Just let me know in the comments below. If you guys stay all the way here. I'll definitely try to give out a code or so. Um, but you guys just let me know. I literally have like probably 30 30 codes saved up so we'll just see but those are my stats right now level 79 i'll update you guys whenever i get the chance but i'll probably be playing zombies a lot and just gonna try to max out all my guns that's my strat within the last last five days just gonna do that i know nuketown's here and everything a lot of people want to play nuketown but i think for me i want to max out my guns first so then i don't have to worry about challenges it's gonna just be easy like straight on ride from there but yeah that's gonna be it for the video guys sorry for the long video um more videos coming out soon talking about all the camos and everything like that um and just more strats in the game but yeah, uh, leave a like on this video, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and turn on your notification bell so you guys aren't missing out on any new content. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.